Well, I've done several pieces with with classical musicians. I, I think this is my eighth, I guess. And um, it's a fantastic experience. I love it. <laughs> Music on its own has a, a kind of universal power, I think. <laughs> Especially live music and classical music. <laughs> so I've done uh, three pieces with a Baroque orchestra in Vienna and conductor and a writer and director in Vienna. Um, also a piece with Philip Glass, the American composer, also a piece with Alberto Iglesias. This and uh, I just finished a few nights ago uh, a piece with Alexei Igudisman, a Russian violinist and a composer. Igudisman. Called the music critic. The critics. So I, I, I've always enjoyed performing with, with musicians. Who are your favorite writers and composers? Mm -hmm. um, my favorite writers, um, I like I like Faulkner a lot. I like um, Roberto Bolaño, the Chilean writer. Um, well, many I like Don DeLillo, the the American author. Um, so many I like. And what about the movies? Uh, all the usual suspects, I think. <laughs> um, I like Mozart, I like Schumann, I like all kinds of people there as well. Thank you. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The meaning of this show. The meaning of this show. Well, I, I sort of mistrust meanings. Um, any meaning is not what a, an artist says it is. It's, it's how you perceive it, what you think of it. Um, what we were looking for in this piece was um, a marriage between text and music. And the music, which which I, I think is a terrific composition, ha, has really paranoid elements. As, as does Sabato's text. And I suppose the basic point of Sabato's text, at least in this particular chapter, I'm not speaking of the whole book, which is a, a different thing. But the character in this piece, Fernando Vidal Olmos, believes that the blind rule the world. Which 
um, this character believes literally, but maybe m Mr. Sabato perhaps believed it figuratively. I have some Armenian friends, um, Sergei being one of them, but also uh, uh, an Armenian friend in the States who's a movie producer, Mark Faradian. Um, uh, and uh, I don't know that I ever read a book about Armenia proper, like a history of, of the Armenian people or anything, but I s have certainly read things where uh, Armenian history figured greatly in, in the story. Um, we were just talking last night about a book called Paradise Lost, which was about Smyrna. Um, which I read a number of years ago. So. Have you ever heard about the Armenian uh, genocide? Yes. And what can you say about it? Few words. What can you say about genocide? You know? Um, it's just kind of unimaginable what what people do. I think um, that that's in a way what what Paradise Lost is about. Um, uh, can't really say much except people do terrible things.